Hi, my name is Rosie Martin, and thank you for tuning in to FSM News. On this newscast, we will be exploring the meaning of Sankofa and giving you four stories that will bring that meaning to life. For those who may not know what Sankofa is, it symbolizes a West African bird who flies, and as it flies, its head is turned backwards, symbolizing moving forward but not forgetting your past. I hope that you enjoy these four stories that we're about to present to you. Eleven years ago, I was four years old. I was in school um, having a normal day. It was like any other day. My body just felt weird. It was unusual. And all of a sudden, I collapsed. I fainted. I, didn't, I was too young to know what was going on. I couldn't feel my left side, the whole left side of my body. After a little while, the doctor told my mom that I was having a seizure that caused a stroke. My mom was sad and she was crying because she knew she didn't know what was going on because anyone any of any age could die from a seizure or stroke. So I could lose my life anytime, anywhere, any day. My parents found out that I wouldn't be able to walk soon. It took a few months, so I was two months in a wheelchair. My mom put me in a disability school for special ed kids. After that, it was time for my freshman high school year over the summer and I started my freshman year. I was nervous like any other teenager, but I still went on with it. I was kind of nervous in high school because you know, I had a disability and I, it took me a longer time to get it, to get into, you know, get into the lessons and learn faster, but I still had people around me to encourage me to be the best I can be and work hard to, to have a better future than what's in the present. I've always thought, why, why, have, why haven't this happened to someone else, and why ha have this have to happen to me? But I didn't realize that I'm not the only one that went through this. Every other night, I cried because I figured, why does this happen? I see other teenagers, other females, like, I think that's the life I'm supposed to be living. Like, I don't supposed to be feeling miserable or depressed or my self-esteem not supposed to be low. but Every day, my family is there for me. My mom even told me, you are not sending out in a bad way. And she read this, she read this quote in this magazine. It said, normal is overrated, meaning you can stand out and still live a great life. I see myself going to college, majoring in fashion design, and as a side, as a side activity, I want to start a, um, a, youth, a youth center for disability kids for so they can have the time to do what they love and do it do what they strive for in life like their passions they can show throughout what I've started and what I've been through I can tell my story to them is Really game like that, you could say, I guess, because people must didn't like who I was, so I always had a fight with certain people. I guess different games, people ain't, people want to own stuff, stuff, something like that, so I guess they territory, so people ain't like me, so I will fight for that, or then after that, I just realized. I just didn't want to go to school no more. Um, me keep getting suspended a lot. Yeah. Just felt that ain't had no purpose. Probably about three months. You know, it wasn't good because you, you, you wouldn't have nothing to do and you would just see people like, you would see other people without their education and see what they doing. It just make you think like, yeah, I do want my education. My mother, she ain't like that. Me staying home and me being a third boy so far would have been dropping out of school. My like, family, my little brother or something, probably try to make fun of me or something like that. But my mother, she ain't like that. Because, like, so far, if I graduate, I'd be the first born boy to graduate out of our family. Just try my best not to get suspended try to improve my grades.
If my mama see this, I'm gonna graduate. I'll be the first one to graduate. I have a very close-knit family. They all came to Chicago many, many years back from Mississippi, and I believe that it's all because of my great aunts and uncles that keep us close together. We are all opinionated and have different views on things in life like school or just hanging out or friends. I try to value and cherish my family since they are still a part of my life. Some of the benefits I say being able to have somebody to rely on, no matter if it's a problem that I can't handle on my own or if it's just something I need help with. We have celebrate all family functions together. On Sundays we go to my aunt's house, she makes dinner, everybody come over. And we just very close knit family. Everybody knows everything. You can't keep a secret because if you do, it's gonna get out anyway, all the way across the state. But I appreciate that. About five years ago when I lost my cousin, I was I say yeah, I was about ten and he had died the day after New Year's. And my mom, she hadn't told us to I think about a week later, because she didn't know how it affect us with our schoolwork and our behavior, because we were so close to him, it made me realize like that your loved ones can be taken from you. So I try to value them being a part of my life. My family shows affection towards me by giving me hugs and kisses. Like my mom, she'll try to just walk in my room and just give me a kiss. I tell her to go because I don't like all that. But she still do it anyway. I know she do it out of love or just to show that she still care about me every now and then. Well, all the time, but she just kiss me every now and then. And they also just tell me that they love me whenever they talk to me. If I say bye, then they say I love you, see you later things like that, or just a hug, plan, little things of affection. I'd rather say see you later than bye because I have an aunt. She never said, she never say bye to no one because the last time she said bye to her friend, she died. And then that was a, the last time they spoke. So she said see you later to somewhat reassure herself that she will see them tomorrow or next week and the next time she want to talk to them, they will pick up the phone. I try to say I love you back as much as I can or when I'm talking to them, tell them as much is going on in my life, po the positive and the negative. I try to cherish them every day. All my friends are very petite and Family members like expect me to be very small and they'll always just make remarks about my weight. That summer I started exercising for like two hours a day and I wouldn't eat like just a cracker maybe. And I would even like throw that back out. So finally one day I just collapsed. That was the event because I got scared. Like, I don't want nothing to happen to myself because me being skinny doesn't matter if I'm not even alive to see it. I lecture people a lot about not wanting to be thinner. I still have friends that go through phases, I guess, and I want them to feel beautiful. I always tell my friend that she shouldn't want to lose weight because she's already beautiful. And it doesn't matter how much a person tells you if you don't see it yourself. You're just never gonna see it. Physical beauty does not matter because personality does. I feel proud of myself. I feel like I got through it myself. I feel that I grew as a person and I'm, I'm happy. Thank you so much for tuning in to FSM News this week. Next week, we will bring back Teen Talk, more PSAs, and more news. Thank you so much, and see you next week. Free Spirit Media partners with schools and organizations to provide education, access, and opportunity in media production to underserved urban youth. Through hands-on production of their own media content, 
Participants build life skills in communication, critical and independent thinking, teamwork, and the use of technology. Believing that youth perspectives are a critical element of American culture, Free Spirit Media actively distributes student work to a range of audiences. Participants' dreams and aspirations grow, and in turn, their voices and visions benefit our society.